Okay, right, let's try this again. One. Prime number. No, no, it's... Not a prime number. Two. Is this like prime stakes? Deep in the recesses of questionable recommendations, a single tear of a bully who just lost the big race to the new guy at school fell into the glowing hole of phosphorescence, germinating the kernel of no return, and subsequently conceiving the mythical show with Rat and Link. On this week's show, Forest Patrol, the YouTube Challenge Challenge, Smosh, This is Science with Rusty and Arnold, and Star Trek, the Middle School Musical. And now, here are your hosts, Brett and Link! Welcome to The Mythical Show. Your half hour of not having to click around on the internet. We want to welcome all you mothers uh, that had a good Mother's Day. I fathers, hope. sons, daughters. But especially and the aunts, mothers. Because you had a good Mother's Day. But it's, the thing that I want to know is how your wife had a Mother's Day and a birthday because the pressure was on you. She had a Mother's Day. She had a birthday. You know, I... Listen... I'm so relieved right now because, <laughs> well, I need to use the restroom, so I'm not relieved in that sense. But I'm relieved that Did you Mother's really Day went that? well, the bath, the bathroom, <laughs> what am I, I cannot stop talking about the bathroom. i got to use the bathroom. The, the, the birthday. Do, do we I'm need to take to, a break? We can no. take a potty break. I mean, we, there is no reason I, that we have to continue. I thought that it would be a good thing. I thought I could harness it for the sake of comedy. Yeah, you need to literally harness it and move on. What I was trying to say was Mother's Day and birthday both went really well. Uh, I knocked it out of the park. <laughs> You're still laughing. Mother's Day and birthday. What? That's it. Her birthday. Okay. What? I did get that right, right? Did, what did you do? Anything special? I took her to... You know I did something special. I was, you kind of laughed this, this at is, Well, this is the like the, the mythical show catching up conversation. So I'm like, hey, what'd you do with her? Okay, so I really... I do know, but I'm I, mad I, like I really I want. I really want to knock it out of the park like I said I would, so... Uh, for Christie's birthday and Mother's Day together in tandem, I took her for a spa treatment. Hmm. And I also got a spa treatment. So I got something out of it. It was a couple, they call it a couple's retreat. You go in there and they put you on two beds and then they massage you. Is it, it, is it one person massaging both of you? Like one big guy with a hand on each person? It's two people massaging two other people. Because I would be good at that with my, with my, my reach. But I can massage three or four I think, people. I think, uh, no, no. And plus, for the money I was paying for it, I demanded that I, I would have my dedicated person. Okay. And Christy had her dedicated person. But you're in the person. same room. The, yeah, in the same room. And there were hot stones involved. It was it was crazy. You making eye contact with your wife while this is happening? I, like you're well, looking like this? I was looking, looking like this? I was looking at her to start, and then they said, put your head down. They didn't want you to make eye contact. Right. They want you to put your head in that donut hole. And so I put my head in the donut hole, and then, all right, I'm just going to fast forward to the highlight of my massage. I forgot anyone else on earth existed except me and the muscles in my back and this uh, small Korean woman who <laughs> was giving me a massage. And let, let, listen, this is what happened. Okay. Uh, my head's in the donut, and then all of a sudden... Are they showing a movie inside the donut or anything like that? I could, no, there's nothing down there except like linoleum. <laughs> My eyes were closed. That's most all you of need. <laughs> my eyes weren't like bugging open. I closed my eyes. Yeah, of course. To get the massage, and uh, I'm of course I'm on a, this bench type scenario thing. A table. I guess it's called a table, not a bench. I'm not waiting for a bus. So anyway, the 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 knee comes up on the right side of my buttock, and then all of a sudden I realize there's another knee going up on the other side of my other buttock. I'm like, this woman is. She's, she's on your buttocks. She, yeah. And then all of a sudden I feel two hands go down in the middle of my back. We can talk about this later. And then, and then, then her kneecaps go into my buttocks. And she is perched on my back doing this motion with her kneecaps on my, on my butt. And I'm just like giggling a little bit into the donut. I'm like, I hope she can't. She's like, are you okay? I'm like, it's fine. <laughs> I mean, you that was. You need I felt like I felt like a king. You gotta read the reviews before you go to a place like that. Man. No, it, it was just ch check up on it. Just to get a little pressure. Okay, well, on the, on the gluteus. You had a great Mother's Day. That's what what I got from that is you had a great Mother's Day. We said nothing about your wife who she was had in a, the same room. She had a great time. It was relaxing. It, we went out to dinner afterward. It was it was a beautiful thing. No one was hurt in the process. Okay. Now uh, it was this, it was Mother's Day, and last week we released the Yo Mama song. Mama so wise, Yoda. Often text 
asks her for advice. Your mama's so nice. I gotta say it twice. She's nice. Nice. Now, a lot of you pointed out in the comments that the Yo Mama song would make a great caption fail. You may have seen our caption fail videos. In the past, that's when we take a look at the closed captions that YouTube generates, and they always generate them wrong. And we looked at the Yo Mama song, and the captions that were generated were absolutely hilarious. A lot of hilarious. Yes, they were so hilarious that I can't even say it. I can't contain myself. So we're going to read the caption fail <laughs> version of Yo Mama song, at least a few of them. Uh, some of the highlights yes. from it. Caravan pictures of things about your mom. Oh, law, that makes two of us. Except I was thinking about Yomata. Which at that point, you fiddles. Your husband had lived out time as much to do video poker. Judge Thomas Bonus seems determined to bark Microsoft wired. Almost no one has been killed off a taxpayer. For example, of a sudden Afghanistan's once dies. Night's thing that instead of letting provided at the kitchen. He was just a brief review of my myself, Price's economized life, Jimmy Cold. Was going to ask for more than .org, wrote a book about her, entitled Awarded the Diseases. Driving a little bit silicone instantly and settled no Londa in the gold. Note of national officially notified, as well as can be made out of our hole. <laughs> Metric mathematics. Overseas, I don't know that you have to wrap their medical record of delicious chicken burrito. Allison indiscriminately confirmed that the president... Nobatashi, Metallica, definitely military. What I think that what to do it. Metallica. Yeah, Metallica. Hospital softly seeking some hypothesis can okay if you don't. Have a vertigo. That's not a deep breath. You take the airplane reading. The second is a copy for the I think it was a speedy. Here on August 11th, wishes he we, was oh, supposed sorry, to say that with my mom. Here we go, you ready. say that together. Here, Here on August, August 11th, wishes he was my mom. That would have been awesome if you had said it with me the first time. Here on August 11th, wishes he was my mom. All right, it's time to tee up the next episode of Forest Patrol. Hopefully you're enjoying Forest Patrol as much as we enjoy it's making it. It's animated. Uh, when we release it on our main channel, share it. Let's perpetuate this animation uh, station. Matt, station. It's a, I call this part the animation station. Nope, don't. We should probably be getting back. Huh? We should probably be getting back. Huh? <laughs> <laughs>I was saying we should probably be getting back. Yep. It is getting dark, ain't it? Attention all on duty patrol. Code 0000, zero, 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 one in progress at Mermaid Falls Campground. <gasps> Unauthorized campfire. Duty call. Ah! You're our kids and we're your folks. We're a family who loves stories and jokes and we love you. And we la 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 love camping too. Oh man, you guys are the best. Yeah, more family songs. What a sweet family. I got this. Hold on, this is the perfect opportunity to employ my third party arbitration training. Hey there folks. Oh hi rangers. I'm Ranger Russell and this is Ranger Gus. It looks like y'all are having just a wonderful time on this beautiful night, but someone has a special message for you. Hi, family. My name is Fiery, the fire-breathing dragon. Do you know what I hate? Uh, what? I hate fire. Huh? That is, I hate fire between May 1st and oh, October blah, blah, 15th. Blah, blah, blah. And the last time I checked, it was May 7th. Oh, we're so sorry, Ranger Russell. Talk to Fiery. Oh, we're sorry, Fiery. We'll put it out right away. Thank you for your cooperation. I don't think they're getting the message. Do you dirty law-breaking renegades have the faintest idea what precious part treasures you put at risk by violating our fire policy? Uh, we're really sorry, and we're putting it out right now. You have jeopardized the last remaining habitat of the giant hairless cave hamster. Really? Man, shoot. And the world's oldest tree, Sergeant Custer. The original homestead of our esteemed park founder, Samuel Scrimshaw himself. Our newly renovated wilderness and fitness center. This pair of running shoes left behind by a vagrant. This totally practical family minivan. <laughs> That's ours. And this leg. Do you understand? Yes. Good. Ah. You do owe me a new puppet. Well, what kind do you want? Um, I don't know. I haven't thought about it. Do you want me to buy it or do you want me to make it? 
I don't know if you, can, if you can make it, that'd be fine. I mean, if it saves you some money. Well, I could use a sock. It needs to be believable. What I do you mean, want it to be? That's the question. I've always wanted a dog. I can't do a dog. The mythical mail boulder enlarges. This week we got among many other things, ketchup flavored lipstick from Abigail in Pineville, Louisiana, a rubber cat and penguin from Rachel in Brownsburg, Indiana, salad tongs from Lisa in Louisville, Texas, and moose nuggets from Julia, Amy, and Morgan in Alaska. Want to mail us something? Visit facebook.com slash red link for more information. Thank you. Come on y'all, mail us something. That's our challenge to you. Speaking of challenges, uh, we have another challenge that we've been working on, a video that comes out this coming Monday on our main channel. It's called the YouTube Challenge Challenge, but we want to give you a, uh, well, it's not a sneak peek. We're going to show you the video here, but it's, yeah, the whole it's, thing. it's a mythical We're show. Gonna, it's going to be so sneaky exclusive. that you're going to see the whole video. So here's the thing. Yeah, I mean, you've heard of all types of challenges floating around YouTube. Uh, Chubby Bunny Challenge, Do Your Own Makeup Without a Mirror. I don't know what they call these. Tin Can challenge. challenge. All, all different types of challenge. So our idea was, in conjunction with Comedy Week that YouTube is doing next week, to pull together a bunch of YouTubers and get them all to do a bunch of these challenges back to back to back all at once with us yelling at them on megaphones. We call it the YouTube Challenge Challenge. YouTube is home to a lot of challenge videos. These are videos of people testing the limits of physical and emotional embarrassment. And we've combined all these challenges together to the ultimate YouTube challenge challenge. We got a bunch of YouTubers. We got some milk, makeup, tin cans, marshmallows. You get the idea. You guys ready? All right, we're gonna get started with the cinnamon challenge, but a doctor said you can die if you do that, so we're gonna do the safe cinnamon challenge. That means put the cinnamon in your mouth and just spit it out, so go ahead and put that spoonful of cinnamon in your mouth. The YouTube challenge challenge starts in three, two, one. <laughs> All right, now it's the chubby makeup challenge. For the next 10 seconds, put as many marshmallows into your mouth as you can grab. Apply the makeup in front of you onto your face without the use of a mirror. Does that look cool? Give your 20 second super note. Go! There we go. Now, mm. all the cats are ready. Three, two, one. Sweet potato, carrot, thing, medley. Oh, diarrhea. Apple, carrot. Now it's time for the flaky saltine challenge. Put three saltine crackers into your mouth and plank while eating them. No water, no more water. Three, two, one. Three, two, one. Oh, 
Space, the final frontier. These are the voyages of the Starship Enterprise. It's five-year mission to explore strange new worlds, to seek out new life and new civilizations, to boldly go... Where no man has gone before, where no man has gone before. Through space, through time, where a multi-ethnic crew Solving problems harder than the Kobayashi Maru Our last big moment before J.J. Abrams moves on to Star Wars Where no man has done before Logic has a rhythm The rhythm of logic makes sense One and then two, two and then three Starting to dwindle I'm not sure but I've been charging my Kindle Rattlers! Whoa! Whoa! Rattlers! Whoa! Whoa! Wait, we found a planet with supplies Welcoming us down, 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 down Down, 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 down probably thought this was a promotion for the mythical show. Nope. I'm Chuck Testa. Go to ChuckTesta.com. Check me out. Now back to the mythical show. Hello and welcome to How Well Duo You Know Each Other. Before we start our game, let's meet our duos. From Sacramento, California, they are the most subscribed channel on YouTube with 9.7 million subscribers. Let's welcome Ian and Anthony, better known as Smosh. And now, our other duo is all the way from North Carolina, and are best known as the older, less successful, Smosh, Rhett and Link. First question, round one, worth one point. What will your friend say is his favorite salad dressing? Blue cheese. <laughs> Huh? Yeah. I can't we see that. We eat salads together all the I time. <laughs> all right, Anthony. Same question. Uh, I'm going to go with balsamic vinaigrette. Balsamic vinaigrette. Ah! Whoa! Hey. Second question. What did your partner give you for your last birthday? Oh, uh, wait. A card? Like a birthday card? Happy birthday on it? 
A happy birthday card is your answer. <laughs> like a greeting card that he got at the store? I thought I got you nothing. <laughs> <laughs> nothing. Boop, for real is nothing. Boop, boop. That's right. I didn't you get you nothing. You gave me nothing for my birthday. Yeah. Who between the two of you is the safest driver? Um, okay, it's pretty easy. Since I've had at least 11 tickets in my life, Rhett is the safer driver. I'm not... I'm not happy to admit it. Yeah. Same question goes to you, Anthony. Uh, I am the safer driver overall. Well, <clears throat> which one? I thought I thought I was the safer driver, but then I thought about how dumb I drive. <laughs> so you crossed your name. Uh, out. I crossed my name out, and then I wrote Anthony. So okay. you get a point. For yeah. Me. Point. Okay. Next question, Anthony. Question is. Let's hear it. What is the worst YouTube video you've Upload it. Three guys in a hotel. Hate that video. Three guys in a hotel. It sucked really bad. And it is not that. <laughs> it is Garrett's blog. This video isn't even public. But it's still on YouTube. No, it's, well, well, it's, it's on our private. channel, but it's private. But can like, you can, can we show a clip of it? We'll grant you guys special, Fine. special, exclusive, exclusive access. Exclusive access. Garrett's guys... blog, right here. I'm like a hairstylist. I'm not like a professional hairstylist. I'm probably gonna get my major in that. That was so good. All right, good. let's go ahead. to North Carolina Smosh. I just wasn't a fan of this one. Um, goth and baseball. Goth and baseball. Shirtless and pointless, that was a great video, man. We were shirtless and it was pointless. <laughs> <laughs> I would like to see this video. Do you guys have it? Yeah, let's let's, let's play that now. All right. What's up, that Goes away and comes back to you. Yo, yo. Wow, that was um, that was very a lot pointless. of a lot of nipples. Bonus question coming up. Three, Three points. points. For this one. Three points. If the two of you were stranded on a deserted island and you died first, would your partner eat you? <laughs> Look at that face! <laughs> what? I'm, I'm not. No, I already, I already was going to say yes. He's a, he's a heartless, hungry jerk. <laughs> yes. Oh. Hey, Anthony, question goes to you. No doubt about it. Yes. No doubt about it. Yes, and the answer is definitely. <laughs> Rhett and Link six, Smosh five, round two coming up. Okay, Ian. What kind of nut does your friend enjoy? Uh, Brazil nut. No. <laughs> oh. Does I... that say sock? <laughs> Perhaps it's Rhett like... has a better answer as to what I his... hope so. <laughs> what nut his partner enjoys most. Link loves peanut butter, but I would not call him a fan of peanuts. In fact, when it comes to nuts, I would say that he is a fan of pistachios. You said that I was. But I'm a you fan don't of peanut like butter. Peanuts, you eat, <laughs> but yeah, but when you eat nuts, remember the time you ate so many pistachios that you had an allergic reaction to them? Well, Your yeah. hands went numb. <laughs> All right, let's go to question two, shall we? Whose number will appear the most on your monthly cell phone bill? Christy, your wife. Dang it, man. You have all the right rationale, but you say the wrong answers. My, wait, your own number is going to be on your cell phone bill? What do you mean by that? <laughs> you no, call I, yourself? I wrote, yeah. I met you. <laughs> no. Ian, same question for you. Um, probably, probably Kanye West. Kanye West. Anthony? His mom's. Oh. <laughs> uh, speaking of mamas, leads us right into the next question. Who is more of a mama's boy? You or your partner? I want to spare Anthony the embarrassment, so I'll just say myself. Really? It's because yeah. you're embarrassed? Yeah. Because yeah. you think well, I'm going to be embarrassed. Yeah, I don't want everyone to know you're big. Right. This this guy. Well, yes. With that Woo! answer, the score is tied. Yeah. Okay. Red nice question too. goes to you. I don't think that you're actually a mama's boy, but if you have to choose who's more of a mama's boy, <laughs> it would have to be you. Oh, oh, yes, it is correct. What would your friend say you were, you would be doing, if you weren't a YouTuber? <laughs> Gonna have to ask you for an answer here, Red. Archaeologist. Ooh. Ooh. Writing a blog no one would read. Oh! <laughs> I'm just gonna say, um, 
the the career that I was doing before I did um, sm- uh, Smosh, which was Chuck E. Cheese. I was Chuck E. Cheese. <laughs> I was the mouse. You would. <laughs> oh. Okay, here we go. Bonus question, round two, worth one million points. Ian, what would your friend say is the most annoying thing about you? Um, I, I yeah, I know this one. Uh, gargling, gargling, yeah. Gargling. Uh, I said, when he brushes his teeth, he makes a sound like he's hawking a loogie. Yeah, that's the gargling. That's the gargling. Yep. Don, does it count? Yes! yes! It yes! One yes! million yes! and six points! Yes! yes! All okay. right. Rhett, how about answering the same question? I would say that the thing that annoys you most about me... Think about it. ...is that I'm a know-it-all. Yeah! What? <laughs> <laughs> Oh man. Oh man. Oh man. Oh man. Oh, man. We all win! You both win cakes with your pictures on them! Yeah! Thank you, Don! This is our sexy picture too. Thank you all for playing. This has been How Well Duo You Know Each Other. Come back again and see us tomorrow for a brand new show. It's not true. We're doing this tomorrow. <laughs> this is Del Monte. See, I've had this before. No, that's dog food. That's just like Del Monte. Knowledge. Discovery. Chemicals. Danger. One of the most scientific things on the planet is volcanoes. On today's episode, we're going to be constructing a fake volcano on a miniaturized scale. You say But this. first, but but first, we'd like to introduce our child. Well, she's not our No, I think you should say that different. But first, Sounds we'd like, like to introduce our child. No, it's like you you're Im- implying that we've procreated for a child. Our assistant. There you go. Lady well, Lonnie. Hey there. Come on, stand right here. Do you like science? Yeah. What's your favorite field? Huh? Field of science. I don't mean like a pasture. But first, we would like to introduce our child. Well, she's been here for a while. Have you ever heard of a volcano? Yeah. Well, are you ready to experience a volcano? Yeah. Yep. Can you say that with even more enthusiasm? Absolutely. Yeah. I'm not talking to you. I'm talking to her. Do you want to see a volcano? What, what, what did I ask her the first time? Are you ready to experience a volcano? Yes. Yeah. Well, can you let her say it without you saying it? Are you ready to experience a volcano? Yeah. I like that. Now, Leilani, I spent all night long working on this thing. Mm, well, I got all... Just looks like a rock. What do you think a volcano is made out of, Leilani? Mm, well, it's made out of like rock. Bingo. I haven't been working on my own. <laughs> I just showed you up. What is this all around? It's historically inaccurate stuff that's this around here. This is a cowboys and Indians set. Since when has the cowboys and Indians fought around a volcano? Well, I didn't think about that. Now, why are you making her do that? Because her eyes are right deadly level with the top of my volcano. Well, what's wrong with a little vinegar in a little mean, girl's eyes? connect the dots. My daddy used to spray vinegar in my eyes just for looking at them crooked. Well, that explains why your eyes are so stupid. Count them out. One. Yep. One. Two. Yep. Two. A L- little more. Nope, that's enough. Okay. Now, have you heard of food coloring? Don't answer that. That's a little joke that I do sometimes. Will you let her stir it? Well, she didn't do it. Take this out first. Tastes like soap. <laughs> Forgot we put soap in it. I'm gonna be burping bubbles. Uh, what's this called? Uh, acid. It's called vinegar. You know what? I'm gonna guide it. I'll guide it. I'll guide it. I'll too. guide it. We can both guide it. Let's both guide it. Oh, oh there she blows. Cowboys and Indians burning up. <laughs> Hey, don't do that. Good golly, look at that. Just because it come in a gallon container don't mean it's an illicit beverage. Are this you... is what you call a volcano off. Oh, there we go. Who wins? Mm, your volcano.
Yep. How did this amazing explosion happen, you might ask? And I might answer, this, this is, is science. science! You need to go to the party? No. I do. It's time to spin the mega wheel of mythicality. Can I spin it? You spin it. Let's spin it we together. We can spin it together. You let's spin, spin it, it that way and I'll spin it this way. All right, let's One, do it. two, three. three. Oh, that's not gonna work. <laughs> Who's gonna? Yeah, I was gonna you, let go. You can spin it. Slingshot it. Very gracious of you, right? 10, ten seconds, seconds to, to live. live. Uh, uh, what would you do with 10 seconds to I'm, live? I think I'm gonna take a nap. Woo! Whoa, I'm gonna make these the best 10 seconds ever! Woo, everything is great! I'm so happy I had a great life! Thank you, thank you, thank you! I always wanted to go on my sleep. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. No, 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 no.